What's up, everybody? Welcome to DifferentBrains.com. I'm your host, Mike Nickus, and you're watching The Week in Neurodiversity. We'll start this week off with the story of Chris Baker, an artist with Asperger's who barely spoke for more than 10 years of his life. But after being featured on ITV News, his entire life has turned around. Back then, he struggled to be in the same room as me and the film crew. Today, he again. laughed and, and interacted. You won the final. <laughs> you better won the final. The young man who for much of his life closed himself off from the world now has a world of opportunity ahead. Thanks to the support of his family and now his fans of these incredible drawings. Next up, therapy utilizing the venom from bees is providing a unique treatment for those with Parkinson's. These bees full of venom and mean as hornets are helping while hurting people like Rich Brown and Jim oh, Hamaker, both Vietnam vets, both now living with Parkinson's disease. Just in the last few years, the bees giving them new life with 20 stings a day, three times a week, administered by their wives. Let's follow that up with a video of 18-year-old Seth McGee, a young man with Down syndrome who scored a touchdown during a high school football scrimmage. For these kids, it doesn't matter who scored the touchdown. Both teams celebrated the victory. During a high school scrimmage in Georgia on the final play of the game, watch Seth McGee, who has Down syndrome, score an amazing 65-yard touchdown. We're going to move over to San Diego, where a device has been created to help protect those with Alzheimer's. Now there's hope thanks to this little device called the Splash, made by San Diego company Great Call. For every minute that goes by, that person is making another turn or going another mile. So uh, yeah, we, we want the call early. We Lauren was one of the first in San Diego to receive this device, thanks to the County Board of Supervisors, which approved a $10,000 grant to pay for this pilot program. Now over in Kansas City, a charity called Warriors Ascent is helping veterans and first responders with PTSD. I saw a need to provide uh, you know an experience for warriors that taught them kind of the basics of healing and it didn't exist, so uh, I started it. Adam helped found Warriors Ascent, a local charity that holds week-long retreats, teaching warriors how to tend to the mind, body, and soul. The retreats include special leap of faith ceremonies. And finally, we'll wrap up this week with a story that has taken the sports world by storm. Do you remember this viral video featuring a man with autism playing basketball in Michael Jordan's uniform? Well, the NBA legend saw the video and reached out to the man, sending him tons of new gear. I was just making sure you got all your gifts. I sent you a bunch of stuff so that you don't have to wear the same outfit. You can wear anything you want to wear to go out and play basketball now. Yeah, that sounds exciting. There were sneakers, t-shirts, shorts, sweats, the list goes on. And a big smile on Jeffrey's face as he opened it all with family and friends watching. And on top of the boxes was an envelope with a letter from his heiress. Continue to believe in yourself. Play hard and always remember to enjoy the game. Your friend, Michael Jordan. And if you're looking for something new to watch here at Different Brains, then be sure to check out our other series, Exploring Different Brains with Dr. Hacky Reitman. Dr. Reitman just spoke at the United States Autism and Asperger's Association World Conference in Louisville, Kentucky, with some of the world's leading experts, such as Temple Grandin and Ron Kaufman. That wraps it up for this episode. Which story caught your eye the most? Be sure to let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and remember, you keep advocating and we'll keep bringing the news.